How are you all doing? Ralph here again. Um, we're carrying on with this. I did a little bit of brazing in one of my uh, vlogs on this cylinder head for our ground and basically he's fitting a rear head on the front cylinder of uh, one of his iron head sporesters. So this rocker cover, instead of fitting this way, now needs to fit this way. And there's two holes that we can pick up to get it roughly in place like this. And then we can transfer these holes and catch these that are braced up. And then we need to make a stilt for this and it'll hold it all in place. And then he's gonna take it away. Oh, we need to, to bum up the um, plug hole as well. We need to make a bum for the plug hole. So this morning, I'm going to transfer these holes through, make that still, make that bung, do a bit of brazing, do a bit of welding, uh, sorry, drilling and tapping, and so on and so forth. And see how we go. <laughs> and games begin. These are 516s UNF, the fittings. So what I've had to do, I've had to get my little black book out and I've had to look down for 516s UNF, which is there. 24 TPI, it shows it all. It's got the old lot there. Um, basically what it comes down to is that the tapping size is a number one drill, which is uh, an Americanism. It's not, it's an imperialism, but it is Americanism. And we don't work in bananas. So it's 2.72 in decimal. 0.2720, which works out, according to my steret metric equivalents, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.27, 0 0.26, 0 0.272. Uh, fuck knows. Decimals to millimeters, that's what we want. 0 0.270 is 6.86. 0 0.2720, so 6.8 is going to do us, and we've got to have 6.8 because that's what we use for an M8. M8 by 1.25. Um, so all we should have to do is you can't really see, but this is so. What we'll do, we'll reverse this and get it on these couple of bolts. The first two bolts, so this one in. This is actually got a crack. This rocker cover, I don't know if he knows about that. He will when he sees this. <clears throat> and we'll just give it a tweak. Just gently. There we go. Snugged it up. And then we can take a transfer punch and we can go through these holes, thus, and we can hope that there's enough meat there to uh, do, do the business with. Let's have a look. Oh, 
that one might be. That one is. That one's not. It's too close to the edge. So we need to build that up. And that one should be. So I think we've got three out of the four. That's an unfortunate, isn't it? Now we're going to have to build that up with braise. So I'll get a wire brush on the Dremel uh, or the die grind. I'll give that a real good clean out. And then build that edge up. We've got the centre mark there, but it's um, not. Can't see, can you? Got the centre mark there, but it's too close to the edge. I'm not going to get a fucking bolt in there. We're really in there. We're really in there, although it's quite close. And we're really in there, so maybe build the outside of this up. And maybe build the inside of that one up a little bit, and uh, then we'll go from there. So we'll get this. Uh, I'm going to use a burr, tungsten burr, and the we'll die grinder. We'll get that good clean. And a bit of a relief. So the braids have got something to stick to. Same with this outside one. Give that a good clean. And a bit of a relief. What I'm actually doing is um, using the TIG to get some silicon bronze in there. It's, I've tried AC, DC, up and down, iron alone, and it's fucking putting up a bit of a struggle to be fair, like, but, but we're getting a few bits on. So we, she ain't pretty, <laughs> we persevered and we found a, a fucking a best as we could, we'll call that. So we built it up with the old silicon bronze. This one's fucking red hot and dirty because it's cast iron and it's old cast iron and it's old cast iron that I've brazed with traditional brazing methods. So I just thought that it would be easier to build it up with a TIG and stronger for the weld in silicon bronze than a good old fashioned fucking braise but there you go that's i'm quite pleased with this one that's turned out lovely that is like a fucking i've built it up as much as i can uh can't get right underneath if you like because there's just not fucking room to get in there so what I'm going to do, I'll give them a quick clean up on the milling machine. We'll go over and we'll run a fly cutter across like we did originally. There's still a little witness mark on that valve guide, look, where the fly cutter went. Um, once it's cooled down, and then we'll transfer punch, drill tap, and we'll look at making the stilts for the, the one that's got to go here and making the plug for blocking off the plug hole. Plug hole, fucking awesome. Be a plumbing now. Now I'm just running a fly cutter over those surfaces now, taking a tiny, tiny little skim off. Um, I've roughed the bulk off already of the silicon bronze, and I've got to say, not fucking pretty, but hopefully it'll take a nice thread. Um, but actually got one, two, three blocks clamped in the vise with the old down studs going through the head bolts. So, so we're all good there. Anyway, we've welded, well, silicon bronzed, and we've fly cut and we've uh, put a bit of ink on there just so we can see our marks clearly and 
I think those two are going to be fine. That one's going to be fine. I think they'll all be all right. So I'm going to go over to the pillar drill and get them drilled out, ready for tapping. Now we'll give it a tap. After that. So... Tougher than I expected. I saw a thing um, in College of YouTube about silicon bronze versus aluminium bronze, and they were saying how aluminium bronze is stronger. Fuck that. Uh, for this kind of work. Not specific to what I'm doing now, but cast iron TIG repairs. So, <laughs> fuck knows what I'd like to fucking work, ain't it? Fly cutter did it good. Drilling and tapping proved to be quite fucking difficult. But, there's one down, three to go. Well, one of us spoke too quickly there in the, uh, over on the pillar drill. So let's come back to the big mill and, and set this back up on the one, two, three blocks and put the cover back on and go through one of the holes to check my alignment. This is tougher than a butcher's fucking dog. This is, I don't get it. I don't recall fucking adding any diamond in there when I was fucking drilling it. Uh, sorry, welding it. So, basically, I'm using the big milling machine so I can get this done and not drift off course. Because everything's locked down, nothing can fucking move. And by golly, I do believe that this is going to do it. So, same story, different machine. Right, take 10. I've just off camera, um, I've just braced three of the holes back up. So I've kept one, I've braced three up. One, I can't get a tap to fucking have it, it's not having it. It's rock hard, so I've sweated it and sweated it and fucking filled it full of silicon bronze, but I did it with the oxyacetylene. Um, so it flows a bit better. And I filled the other two up because every time I check the marks, they were fucking different. This job is one of those that's just been fighting me from start to finish. Uh, I picked it up and then put it down again a few weeks ago. I've checked in my diary and I've not fucking worked on it for like three or four weeks, so... That's how difficult it's proving to be. Anyway, three hours are done. I've got the method sus now for drilling and tapping. And uh, I'll join you over at the big mill once I've fly cut this smooth and got it set up to do the first hole. Okay, so we've fly cut that and there's lots of material where I need it. So I think we're good. Here's the method. We're gonna attach the rocker cover with the two center bolts thus we know they're good they're standard factory they're our point of reference right we don't need to make it super tight just have them in there we go and where they need to be. So now that's fixed, yeah? Good. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna set this up to drill the first hole. Just one hand will bear with. So we can literally eyeball, because this center drill is five sixteenths. Same size as the stud. So we can centralise that 
on the fucking arm. Not me, really, but if you feel that's loose there, and then it gets tight, tight, loose, tight, loose there. Now we know that's exactly the right place. So all we've got to do is drop this, take this cover off, and then we can drill the hour or so. I'll whip this cover off and you can join me again. Okay, so come on and wobbly camera, sorry. So the eagle eyed amongst you will have noticed I've changed positions. We're in this back corner before and, and I've encountered an inclusion. There's a fucking odd bit of shit in there that I can't drill through. I've had to order a solid carbide end mill to chip away at it. I've got one that's proved I can do it, but it's the wrong size. So, such is life. Anyway, we're back on fucking track. Let's see how this one goes. Everything's lined up as before. Sorry, let me check the drill fucking tight. Right, yeah. yeah, just to be sure. To be sure. And just as it should be, look. Oh, you didn't see me struggling with the other hole. I just did that bit out. Just nice and steady. And chip away at that in the centre drill. And then we'll switch out to the tapping size in a sec. Now we're in with the tapping size, 6.8 millimeters for a 5/16 inch UNF. running off. You know, I think what I'm going to have to do is wait until my end mill comes and run them all through with that and then follow through with this, follow through with the top. Okay, so it's a, two days later for me. It's not for you, obviously. Um, what I've had to do is wait for this 6 mil fully carbide fucking end mill so I can try and get through this material and get it out to the fucking tapping size. I'm also waiting on a machine tap, on a 516 to UNF machine tap. So uh, I'm busy drilling hours but I'm not tapping threads. But the method works. Um, put the rocker box on, get a couple of bolts in, line it all up drop it down, rock a box off, lock everything off, you bang on. So uh, we're going to take this one out with the 6 mil end mil uh, and then we're going to run the 6.8 carbide drill bit into it. Happy days. So off we go then. Well, I can say everything's locked off. Just going to gently chip, chip, chip away. I've not even tried drilling this. It's just not worth it. I've learnt enough from the uh, attempts I've had so far of machining this that I've learnt chances are it's not going to go my way. So I'm just breaking through now. There we go. Now the other side, no dramas. Uh, Queen Mary's in. Uh, we'll switch this out. We'll, we'll change the tool in. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, I'm sure it's something uh, I've, I've eaten. Uh, 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 I've tried everything. I've tried everything I can be asked to try. So, well. Switch this out to the drill chuck now. Let me man it. Down a bit more.
Look down all the fucking way. Give it a tap. Take that out. Put the six point eight in. Right. I'm just going to switch this for a sharper one, bear with. So we switch that out for one that's actually fucking sharp. Don't just take that through. See, that don't want to play. There we go. Yeah, there it is. I don't know what it is, why this is so fucking hard. Sorted. And then to give ourselves a lead, a lead in, for when the machine tap turns up, machine taps, because you know it's going to fuck one. We use a countersink tool, more of hand cranking to get it where we need it to be. But we'll put a chamfer on there. I've cut myself to pieces doing this job with these sharp edges. Bear with, I'll just one that on. We took that off. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. So, just that flat. Still kicking up a little burr in that. Here we go, in that brace. So that's the method. Carbide end mill through the inclusions, out to tapping size, bit of a chamfer. Happy days. Now uh, with all the holes drilled, we can get in and profile this inside out a little bit with a dog on me. Leaving plenty of material to support the new thread. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, it's not funny. And no surprise, um, this, that hole there didn't line up. So I uh, braced it up and uh, machined it back out and the uh, corner's like blown out. So we've gone back to TIG and we've silicon bronze welded. We've built that up with silicon bronze and this will be the third time on this one hole. So, you know, not always a joy. Well, we've failed. Got my machine tap, I managed to tap one out, but the three remaining are just that fucking hard. I can't, even with all my weight on this tap, it is just refusing to fucking buy it. So, I don't know, I have to do some research. Give it back, can't do it. That's where I'm at. But uh, that, that could change, you know. For the meantime, the holes are there. I can build a steel and weld it, uh, raise it on, and bung up the plug hole. I can do that, but 
but these are remaining hard work. Maybe use a carbide end mill to take them out to a bigger size, you know, maybe 10 mil, and then set some 10 mil brass in there and thread them that way. Don't know, don't know, don't know what's going on there. I don't know enough about the cast iron um, and this silicon bronze interaction to know quite why it's fucking gone our ass either. So, there you go. Stay tuned, stay tuned, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I'm not saying it's over, but it might be. Yeah? Thanks for watching. Lots of love, everyone.